Today I'm bringing you everything you need to know about how to craft a new armor set added to Valheim by a surprise patch 0.205.5 earlier today. Check out this beautiful piece of armor, it's all rooty and grooty, not only that but many of you will love its stats. Let's start off with how to get your hands on it. For that we need to head to the swamp. Once at your local swamp you are going to want to just run around like a loud annoying neighbor, as what we are looking for here is a new mop. It's pretty damn cool and just as a warning before we show it on screen, you may want to find it yourself for the first time in game. Clicking on this video you knew spoilers were coming, but this is your last warning. So this new mob is called an abomination and is essentially the swamp's version of a golem. It will spawn in an inactive state and will awaken as you get close to it. And boy, when it wakes up, it is a pretty badass sight. I would put the power level of this mob on par with the stone golem from the mountain biome, which is a little crazy for the swamp, so expect a potential power nerf for it, but really I kind of hope they keep it strong. These mobs, similar to golems, are pretty rare in relation to other mobs. From what I can see they don't need night time to spawn, but I cannot say that for sure, but that would explain how I ran around a medium sized swamp and only found a single one near the only place I have already been before. At this point, it's a fair bit of guesswork. As for fighting this new foe, I can confirm that blunt, slash and piercing are usable damage types. I did pretty great damage with an axe, less than the axe with a sword, and my porcupine did around the same as it does with a golem. The Abomination not likely having a weakness to Blunt could account for the perception of it being a similar power to the Golem when it is not actually the case. But regardless, this mob is a slow moving, hard hitting tank. I definitely recommend blocking or parrying, don't try and soak. Once you have bested this new enemy it will drop around 5 roots. I don't know the drop rates for sure at the moment but all of my tests so far have dropped exactly 5 roots and a trophy. Can't say for sure whether RNG or the trophy is 100%. Roots are the new item that this mob brings to the game, and what you need along with ancient bark, deer hide and leather scraps to craft the root armor set. To craft the full set you will need 30 roots, so what appears to be 6 abomination kills. I'll put the full material list on screen for non-root items. If you wish to full upgrade this set then you will need a further 36 roots, so 66 in total to craft and fully upgrade this armor set. 14 kills isn't going to be the quickest thing to achieve, but it is very achievable and feels fairly well balanced. I'll definitely be proud of my new set once it is complete. As for the root set stats, they are pretty epic and bring some new things to armor in general for Valheim. Weight wise the whole set is 23, so pretty normal. Armor is 14 per piece when full upgraded, so certainly the light on the armor being the same as bronze yet requiring hefty swamp mobs. But trust me, this is worth it for many. The stats now start to get really interesting with movement speed only impacted in total by 4 instead of the usual 10. Wearing any piece of the set will make you weak to fire, which is a super interesting touch and of course makes sense, it's a wooden set. However, wearing the helmet makes you resistant to poison, which is absolutely amazing, and wearing the chest piece makes you resistant to piercing, which is going to be fantastic due to the set bonus. Having all three pieces on at the same time will give you plus 15 boost to your bow skill. I absolutely love that they are adding things like this to the game, this is fantastic. It complements itself so much. As an archer you will be staying away from mobs, so the primary danger is going to be the other archers and spear chuckers, which you are now resistant to. Poison is also tricky, but you are resistant to that too. Not only that, but you will do a hefty bit of extra damage with that plus 15 bow skill. It's not all buffs though, as you are weak to fire and the lower armor in general makes you weak to all melee from mountains onward. A really great move towards personal specializations. I personally absolutely love this armor set. I'm generally a melee player, but I do use my bow and will be more inclined to go on some ranged adventures with this set. We'd love to know what you guys think, and please don't hesitate to ask any questions that you may have, especially if you think I missed anything. Have a fantastic day folks.